Hey guys, so I'm Sarah Vanderhuven and I decided to do my educational giant project on William James. So we were asked to look somebody up and find exactly how they affected the educational system. And to be honest, when I picked William James, I had no idea who he was. But I've actually learned that he affected the educational system a lot. So he really changed the edu educational system on the human mind, and which is a little bit different than what normal people would do. But I'm going to give you the basics first. So William was born on January 11, 1842 in New York, New York. He was the first child of 13 kids to Henry James and Mary Walsh. Later in life, he actually decided that his family would move to Europe so that he could further his education. But William didn't really know what he wanted to do exactly still. So he decided that he would study painting and science until he decided that he really needed to get practical and he got a, he decided to go to Harvard Medical School where he could really earn a living. So this was around the time that um, the American Civil War began, so I'm going to give you a little time frame. But he was actually diagnosed with depression, really serious depression and chronic back pains. So his um, condition started to worse, so he didn't actually go out in the field. So William had a great passion for the human mind when he finally decided what he wanted to do. And the study is known as psychology. So in 1874, he began teaching psychology and he established his first American psychology, psychology laboratory. Soon after, he fell in love with writing. William wrote lots and lots of books on this subject, but one of his best known books would be The Principles of Psychology. This book is about 1,200 pages long and took him 12 years to write and publish it. So at that time, he was about 48 years old in 1890. The book was unique, unlike anything that the world had really seen before. So lots of topics were talked about, some uncommon and some really common. So some of the common ones were reality, conception, imagination, and the perception of time. But lots of topics that he talked about were not common, which is discrimination, comparison, and the production of movement and instinct. All of these topics changed the way that Americans looked at discipline. With everything that James did, there were three things in history that really made him famous. His analysis of the stream of thought, his characterization, and his theory of emotion. For years, William continued to write books and travel and teach everyone the importance of psychology and education. So the real question here is, does psychology really relate to education? The answer to this question is certainly yes. Psychology is often referred to as interdependent to education, and psychology is the science of intellects, the characters, and the behavior of animals, and animals includes man too. So education is concerned with certain changes in the intellects, characters, and behavior of man, and is being roughly included under these four topics, aims, materials, means, and methods. Psychology helps contribute to a better understanding of the aims of education by defining them and making them clear, clearer. Psychology changed and is still changing the system of education. So you're probably still a little bit confused on what exactly this is. Um, so he really influenced the educational system with regards to kind of what John Dewey's belief that children should learn at the level for which they are developmentally prepared for. Many children in the classroom are not prepared for this information that they're now receiving. I'm sure we've all been there where we're sitting in a classroom and we have no idea what's going on or exactly how we're supposed to process this information. Imagine if you were in elementary school, you don't know how to speak up and you don't actually notice that you're falling behind compared to the other kids. So what children learn should be monitored and planned according to the age group that they're in. Many children also have different teaching styles and some actually have disabilities that we're unaware of because they're thrown into the classroom with lots of different children. So William made a huge difference in the education. He's influenced the educational system in the past, present, and will continue to in the future. He's taught the people around the world to become aware of the human mind and remember that everybody is an individual. We learned that we need to learn about the human mind before we can actually teach accordingly. So William made a huge difference not only to me, but to everybody. Um, so I did my Educational Giant Project again on William James, and I'm Sarah Vanderhuman. Thank you.